Hey there, welcome to my art channel. My name is Christina Moyer. Thank you for joining me in today's time-lapse video of a bull highland cow. It's the first time that I painted this particular subject matter, but I've painted other cows before, horses, not a lot actually, but there was one painting that had a lot of cows in it, so I think that counts for something. And the principles of painting with acrylics follow a similar, you know, rule at least how I've created rules. So that's the beauty of being an artist. You some, in some ways you can kind of create your own rules and that's what makes your style and you, you and different and unique and special. So thank you for being here and I hope you enjoy this time-lapse. This was made specifically for a Skillshare class. So I have some painting classes on there as well as some drawing. I think drawing and painting go hand in hand. Uh, it's important to learn both and to practice both. The more you practice, the better you'll get. And I just want to talk a little bit about Skillshare and why I think it's such an amazing platform and why you got to try it. So not only is it great because you can learn to paint this painting as well as other paintings that I've done and just techniques that I know, just I'm imparting as much wisdom as I can, as much knowledge that I have and experience for you on there, there are so many benefits to it. So you can, so part of the platform is it's subscription based. So you pay one fee and have access to all the classes. So if you're, you know, more intermediate and you can speed through the class, or maybe you're more a beginner and you need to slow it down or review, you can just go backwards. You don't have to, you know, ask put your hand up awkwardly in a class and, and get everybody to stop and ask a question or you feel uncomfortable about that. It's online so you can go at your own pace. I love that. You can still have access to your teacher by discussion, by sharing your projects and requesting feedback. So I really love that and it's so fun to get that to have that experience with my students. So when they send me their project and say like, "Hey, you know, this worked for me, but I, you know, I struggled with this or that kind of thing, or they give me a review of the class. It's really helpful for me as I create new classes so that I know how to make them better. So you can slow it down. You can speed it up. You can speed it up really fast. I don't know which class I would do that for, unless I wanted to see it more like a time lapse. But the other thing is it's not just creative based. It's all kinds of learning. You can learn well, I shouldn't say creative based because I think most things are creative based, but it's not just painting and drawing, that kind of thing, not just in the arts. There's marketing classes, there's language classes, there's probably guitar lessons on there. I should probably check that out because I have this guitar that's been sitting and in my life like forever and I just really don't know how to use it. So <laughs> I know a little bit, you know, but not that much. So it's a really great platform for that. There are no ads because you're paying the subscription. You can download the class if you're going to be in a place where you want to take the class, but you won't have access to Wi-Fi. So download the class, take it with you. You can use it from your phone or you can use it from the computer. It's your choice. It'll still remember where you're at for each class. Once you take a class, it will remember that and you can choose to follow a particular instructor and see what other classes they have. You can easily not like unfollow a teacher and they won't even know. It's all good. <laughs> no hurt, no hurt feelings. And I love that. It makes it easy and more comfortable, especially for those who have anxiety and they are worried about taking a class for various reasons. So you pay the one fee, take whatever classes you want. Have no worry with that. Oh, let's take a quick look at this palette. Look at that. It's a really fun palette. It, there's not a lot of rhyme and reason to when, where I put the paint on the palette. I don't put the same colors in particular areas. I just, where's a dry spot where I'm going to see the wet paint? <laughs> That's kind of my thought process there, by the way. So genius, right? <laughs> so because I've started, I created a black background because of all the shadowing in the fur. It makes more sense to have that as the background and then paint the lighter fur on top or just the highlight of the fur is really what it is. It's not necessarily lighter. Maybe to some degree it is, but anyways, I'm adding some white as I go to this mix of my blue and I'm using an angle brush. 
I love angle brushes when I'm painting. This whole painting was done almost exclusively with an angle brush of different size. I have this three quarter inch one and a quarter inch, but you'll hear more about that if you take the Skillshare class. So I don't want to take away from those who do uh, sign up for that class, but I appreciate you're here. So I can tell you a few things and I'm happy to do that. And in some of my, some of what I share on YouTube, our paint with me sessions. I want you to learn how to paint, have fun with it. I think that anyone can paint if they want to and if they feel passionate about it. Like if you start painting, you're like this, I'm not enjoying it. That's one thing. But if you're enjoying it and you're getting a bit frustrated because you don't know how, that's totally different and that can be learned. So that's what I'm here to do is to help you enjoy that. And hopefully you feel entertained too. Uh, sometimes I'm funny, but not really on the spot. I just say randomly funny things that make people laugh. And my favorite is to be around people that laugh a lot at most anything <laughs> because they make me feel like a comedian. So shout out to all of you who uh, fall into that category. I also love using a script liner brush. So I hadn't done this for so many years. How sad. Uh, right now I'm using a quarter inch that that burgundy one maroon actually is uh, a quarter inch angle brush. Love that brush. Really helps to make fine lines. But if you want to make an even finer line like those little chin hairs or a little tiny hair, then the script liner brush is where it's at. That's that's the money brush for those moments. And I often now sign using a script liner brush as well. But to save time, I will use a slightly larger brush for certain areas where appropriate, but I'll tell you when and how to use, you know, which brush in my classes. Uh, if I do a painting live class here or just like a paint with me session, I will show you more details about that. But um, yeah, starting with this brush makes a little more sense when there's more hairs kind of gathered together and more light showing. And then if there's just tiny bits of light because it's just a single strand, that's when you want to go for a script liner brush, which is just a long, thin brush. And because the bristles are the brush bristles are longer, they're they flow really nicely. So they have this really natural look when you're trying to create a little hair look. Just like one little hair. I use it for those chin hairs. It's really fun. So you'll see that brush come up. It's silver. Uh, <laughs> but as you can see, I'm using this maroon. I keep trying to say, oh, I tried to say burgundy that time I said maroon. So I said the correct color that time. <laughs> it's all good. We're all good here. So the key thing is to, I think, paint with your intuition. You're going to find your own style and trying to paint it exactly like me is not really my purpose or my focus or what I suggest. Um, I, I think painting your own way to some degree, like follow some of the tips and techniques, but then go with your heart and intuition. You kind of have feeling of where things should be. Almost like when you have a painting on a wall and you know it's crooked a little bit, we all kind of have that. Or you know, everybody's an art critic, right? Well, that's because we all kind of have, maybe we're not a trained critic, but <laughs> we all have opinions about what is good or what seems good to us. So, and that's different for everyone. Okay. Can we talk about how awesome the top part of the hair is with the curls and stuff? Like, I'm not saying because I made it awesome. I'm just saying because the photo that I chose had really cool curly hair on top. And because it's this brown color next to this blue, it's just so powerful for coloring, for contrasting and to get that pop of color out. Just love it. You need the contrast to make it pop, right? So I want to do a big shout out to Trina Wheaton, who is a photographer who I use the reference image from this piece, as well as other pieces that I've created, bird paintings. Um, what else have I done that <laughs> mostly I focused on bird paintings, but now I'm getting into some of the cows that she's photographed. And there's some other animals she has photographed that I haven't done yet, but she has some incredible work. 
and uh, this is just a hobby for her. And I'm like, wow, it's, you know, amazing. So go check out her on Instagram. I'll put her, her uh, tag in the description so you can follow her and support her. I'm so appreciative of her willingness to let me paint her work, her creative work. And uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to bring this to you today. So um, how cute is that little tongue sticking out? It has this funny look on its face and just, I just love it. <laughs> so this, I'm currently using the script liner brush, by the way, and uh, just putting in some of the dark hairs again, where I had kind of pulled them out, um, just refining. So as you keep layering and kind of pushing yourself forward, even though you're creating your own style, you can still push yourself with technique and with the method that you're kind of sticking to. You kind of create the rule and then you got to stick with it. So I'm just finishing my last little bit, little touches, and we're going to do real time for the signature. And for me, I do my little KMO. So Christina Moyer, I used to be KO, so that's why it's KMO now. <laughs> and then we'll be finished. Thank you guys so much for being here today. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to put them. And <laughs> that sounded a bit weird, but... I hope you stick around and enjoy the rest of what I have to offer for my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Bye now.